as dreams begin of making it all the way to the Aviva for this year's showpiece at the end of November. Our focus tonight here on LOI TV is on the first round of the 2021 edition of the FAI Cup. And they've done that brilliantly over the last number of weeks as the 2021 FAI Cup gets underway officially here at Richmond Park. Even, even that sometimes is not right. Lennon, left footed ball to Billy King here. Once again on his right foot King. And it slipped through Brian Maher. And St. Pat's have taken the lead here in the 23rd minute at Richmond Park. King shot low across the goal. So here's King and one of the three centre-backs is dragged out and King's left foot across towards the back post. It's found Jay McClelland and it is now St. Patrick's Athletic 2, Grey Wanderers nil. Billy King scored the first, he's got an assist for the second. Jay McClelland at the back post. Who now has Ian Birmingham overlapping and Birmingham's cross is in towards Ben McCormack and it is 3-0 to St. Patrick's Athletic. What a cross by the captain Ian Birmingham to Ben McCormack who has scored a brilliant header, Ger O'Brien. It's his third start of the season, academy graduate here through the club. Back to Birmingham and his cross into the box this time again finds McCormack this time he can't get his header on target but it has broken and it is 4-0 to St. Patrick's Athletic and it's Sam Bone who's caught it on the half volley I'm not sure Jerry if it took a deflection or not but it's gone in off uh, the post and it is 4-0 to St. Pat's and he's going to shoot right with his right foot Paddy Barrett and it's one of the goals of the season here at Richmond Park in the 62nd minute Paddy Barrett from centre back somehow ended up on the edge of the box and it broke to him on his right foot and he's curled it right into the top corner here's Billy King found by McCormack King on a goal already and he's got a second left footed strike into the far corner have you got to your phone yet and how mad has it gone or are you looking forward to go over to see all the messages nah I haven't got to my phone yet but uh, I think a couple of my mates were there so I'd say they'll be buzzing for me but uh, yeah I just can't wait to see me, see me dad see me granddad see what they say because uh, it's only the second match that my dad's been at so Second pass match that my dad's been at, so uh, I'm buzzing that you got to see it, to be fair. Welcome to Turner's Cross as we get closer to kick off in tonight's extra.ie FAI Cup second round tie between Cork City and St. Patrick's Athletic. Underway, George Heaven with his first touch, plays long diagonal. McCormack oh. beats one, beats two. Oh, it's a pen. Big shot for a penalty, and oh. it has been given. Oh. And Mark McNulty, 12 yards between St. Pat's and the next round of the extra .e. FAI Cup Forrester steps up to take hesitates rolls it into the bottom right hand corner Cork City nil St. Pat's won every Cork City player outfield player in the box it's Yaros with the punch McLean needs to clip this back in oh, yes. tries to make the angle for the shot he gets the shot away but it's Hickman with the block Hurley needs to get it back in City needs to get the ball back into the box. A minute left. The Glade. It's... That's it! Yes! Yes! For Cork City! Goal! Forrester! Goes the same way. On loan from Liverpool. Against McGlade. Who oh, buries it. Good pen. Good pen. Fantastic penalty. McCormack against McNulty. McCormack, oh, right down the middle. He shot more of a divot than a uh, ball, did he? On the with St. Pat's this year, up against Barry Coffey. Coffey, oh. skies it. McClelland, against McNulty. Slides it down the left-hand side. Short runner. Crowley, oh. saved by Yaros. Lewis to send St. Pat's. Into the next round of the extra .ie FAI Cup. Hesitates. Rolls it into the bottom left-hand corner. And that is, is that. that. A big, big victory for the Saints. And great scenes here in Turner's Cross. You can't beat a penalty shootout win. And the Saints are into the quarterfinals of the FAI Cup. What a victory. Alfie Lewis scoring the winner. Yeah, just buzzing, delighted with the result. Uh, took the hardest route that we could, but it got there at the end. And uh, 
I'm just delighted to go into the next round and uh, step closer to Aviva. A place in the semi-finals of the Extra.ie FAI Cup awaits tonight's winners as St. Patrick's Athletic host Wexford FC here at Richmond Park. A good year and a half or so, so far at Ferry Carrick Park. And here's a really good pass to set Billy King to Dara Burns. Big chance here for the Saints. And they've scored Dara Burns in the 34th minute here at Richmond Park. What a pass through to the feet of Billy King, to the feet of Dara Burns, who's been in top, top form for the Saints this season. And Jerry hit the back of the net again to put them ahead in this cup tie. Yeah, exactly. And it's exactly what we were saying, Jay. So here goes Chris Forrester on the attack. And that's a lovely ball into Burns. Dara Burns, he has made it 2-0 to St. Patrick's Athletic. What a finish by Burns. A fifth goal of the season. Again, another assist from Chris Forrester, who's been in such good form. Turned by Smith into Forrester. What a run by Burns. And Jerry, the Saints lead 2-0. A double for Dara Burns here at Richmond Park and St. Pat's two up in the cup quarter final so here goes Chris Forrester is he going to be failed by Paul Cleary he is and it's St. Patrick's athletic penalty so Ronan Cochran against Jimmy Corcoran from the penalty spot here at Richmond Park in the FAI Cup and it's 3-0 right in the bottom corner an 8th goal the season for Ronan Cochran we won won 3-0 performance wasn't probably up to the levels that we'd hit previously but in the cup competition you just need to make sure you're in the next round now we're into the semi-finals and that was the important thing. What a night ahead here at Richmond Park in front of a capacity crowd of almost 5,000. It's the extra.ie FAI Cup semi-finals. I was trying to go in. I didn't see who was marking him, being honest with you on it. Uh, but it was a game. Well, that's a loose one by Sloggett and a chance here for Pats. Here's Billy King. And it's gone through goalkeeper Peter Cherry. And St. Patrick's Athletic lead here in the extra.ie FAI Cup semi-final. In front of a packed Richmond Park in the 26th minute. A mistake by Sloggett into Billy King. You'll see the replay chair for the goalkeeper. But either way, the Saints take the lead here at Richmond. Oh, a bank was just uh, been dispossessed there by Patching. And here's Huben. Patrick Huben's through. And it is 1-1. The dock have equalised in the 41st minute here at Richmond Park. And that man, Patrick Huben, who's been in such good form for the Lily Whites this season. So Hickman looking for options here. And... He's tried to find the feet of Forrester and it's a bit of a loose clearance by Patching and that is an oh. unbelievable pass by Dara Burns. Is Matty Smith through? Oh, oh what, what a, a goal. goal for St. Patrick's Athletic. What a pass by Dara Burns. And Matty Smith is there to put the Saints 2-1 ahead in this extra .ie FAI Cup semi-final. These are the moments we've been waiting for in front of 5,000 fans. Unbelievable stuff and the Saints lead 2-1. Unbelievable pass and unbelievable finish. What an absolute strike. Been a bright player when he's had opportunities this season. And speaking of bright players, here's Cochrane into Dara Burns, who's going 1v1 here with Peter Cherry. Burns. He's yes! shifted over the goalkeeper. Yes! And he scored to make it 3 1 to St. Patrick's Athletic. It's that man, Dara Burns. The Pats fans are going mad. The Pats staff are going mad. The Pats players are going mad because they lead by three goals to one here against Dundalk. And it is 19 year old Dara Burns. Who's got the goal? We said it from the start, Jay. He's been the best player on the pitch. He's looked the most alive player on the pitch. He's leaving Lee he de for dead. He's put 10 or 15 yards on him. So this could be the last action. Prepare for Richmond Park to go mental. Because the final whistle has blown. And St. Patrick's Athletic have qualified for the 2021 Extra.ie FAI Cup final. It'll be a 12th final in the club's history as they look to win their fourth title, 2014, oh, no, 1961 and 1960, the previous time St. Pat's have won the competition. It'll be an all-Dublin final as well against Bohemians at the Aviva Stadium on Sunday, November 28th. So we're joined up here in the gantry by Brian Kerr. Um, Brian, I hope you won't mind me saying, but you look emotional. Um, well, I am emotional. Uh, you couldn't but be emotional. Seeing the, seeing the place like this tonight, you know, it was a superb win, great win for for the team, for the management and for the club tonight. You know, we, we, you know we, we've got the day out in the final and we want to go and win it now. The dressing room's bouncing, we're delighted. Um, really believed this week it wasn't a case of oh, we were going in and it'd be great to be in the final. You know, we were going in and we're going to the final. That was the mentality, you know. For you, Dara, as a 19-year-old, to get an assist, get a goal. I know you had 20-plus friends and family here. Anthony Delaney had to drag you in from taking selfies with all the young fans who love you. What was that feeling like? Uh, it was so special, like, I knew before going into the game, like, they're either going to be crying their eyes or they're going to be celebrating after the game, and I didn't want to have that heartbreak after the game, so I just knew, just to woke me, it woke me, uh, woke me arse <laughs> off, woke me arse <laughs> off, and, uh, just put in a shift and see what happens from there, but thankfully we got the win and buzzing them over the moon.